Hey, welcome to day 10 of how to build your golf swing in 30 days. Today we're going to cover the takeaway, but also add in what your weight should be doing in your takeaway, all right? Because that's pretty key. If our weight is moving the wrong way and our hips are moving the wrong way, no matter how good our takeaway is, uh, we're gonna struggle because we need a good base. We need our weight to make sure that it's doing the right thing. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get going. So, how should our weight move in our takeaway? How should it move in our backswing? All right, all you're going to need is a simple chair. So if you have been watching these videos, you probably have a chair right next to you because you did the, the, uh, the check to see what your flexibility is like. This chair works perfectly for this drill as well. Okay, you've probably seen it done before, maybe with a wall. Uh, you can do it with a rack at the driving range. I've done that with students before also. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna get into your good setup Okay, you're going to feel like that chair is just slightly touching the back of your right leg. Okay, then when you work on your takeaway, as you take that club back, as long as you have good posture as, and you take it back, let's talk about arm elevation, all that, you should watch those videos. All right, you're going to feel like the weight goes into your right heel a little bit. Okay, and that chair almost feels like it's starting to lift off the ground a little bit. Okay, if you swing the club back and you come off of that chair, okay, you're going to come out of your posture. This is a good way for you to check posture too because if you find that you're up here at the top you stood completely straight up now the bottom of your swing arc is going to be all over the place so you're going to struggle with most likely thinning it and you'll chunk it every now and then if you dive at it right so when it comes to just that nine o'clock position just that takeaway position all right i want you to feel like you're loading into that chair a lot of pros you'll see on tour actually get deeper into it so that's where that lifting off the ground of the chair kind of comes into play so work on just taking it to right there. Feel like your hip stays deep. Okay, you can notice that my knees haven't done anything crazy to get back there and I haven't leaned backwards to get my weight going back. Okay, just really feel like you, as you swing it back, you kind of push into that right leg, push into that right heel, okay? Weight shift is not this, okay? Weight shift is basically putting the pressure into your feet, okay? So, good setup. Practice that takeaway, that nine o'clock position. You can hit little shots from here and then just come back down to the ball. Feel like both cheeks are against the chair again. And then as you swing through, that left cheek goes against the chair. It's a great way for you to not only practice your takeaway position, but to practice staying in your posture in your golf swing. All right, so we're trying to build the swing over 30 days. Okay, so we're gonna start with small exercises like that. So that's a really good drill for you to do. You can even take an alignment stick Right, put it in the ground right behind your, your butt and just feel that you kind of stay on that alignment stick as you swing. All right, so go ahead and apply that to your swing. Let's work on staying in our posture. Let's work on how our weight should shift. Uh, let's create that great takeaway to uh, start your road to having a great golf swing.